Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, apparently Lucy Man wants to speak to me, but I'm not going to talk to him, because it's probably going to start some uh, chain of quests that I can't undo. I'd rather just explore the galaxy a bit more and some other stuff like that. Uh, so, I didn't really do it at the end of the, I guess the end of the DLC portion. Alright, looks like we do not get an option. Uh, I was hoping to not have to do that. Uh, but I know, I know that if, what, if a certain thing happens, I'm supposed to do things right away. Don't worry, I know, I know. Anyways, I just wanted to go in, uh, go on about something. So, I, I guess, I, uh, listen, I, I joke around a lot, and some people take me a little bit too seriously. Like, I like, I like just kind of riffing on games. Like, even ones I like, I, I riff on them all the time. Um, some people take it a bit too seriously. Uh, but I guess I'll give credit where credit is kind of due. I really did like, uh, the Shadow Broker stuff. Uh, DLC. It was actually really good. Uh, so it was actually probably the best part of this run, and since I've already kind of played this game without the, the DLC, I think it's just the best part com uh, completely, period. Um, so it was it was really nice. It was really good. So unfortunately, we do have to go to the briefing room. I do not get a choice here on what to do, which is highly unfortunate. I want to do more stuff, but whatever. Passing the elusive master commander. Shepard, we caught a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corliss system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Hard to imagine how a Torian patrol could take out a collector ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this slip by. If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can be in and out before the Turians learn the truth. Are you sure this information is good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Good luck, Shepard. Coordinates punched in. Let's go find us a collector ship. Never choices. Always having to go forward. I also kind of wanted to see what was uh, on the rest of the stuff, but fuck. Ah, uh, whatever. Should we just do the good old Morden Garrus team? Is it a matter of the order I do things in? That's how I like to do things. Alright, well, there's nothing really here that I need that's new. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so, uh, let's go. Uh, oh, do we need anything here? Eh, no. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? Ladar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no mass effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. I love what they've done with the place. 
somewhat resembles an insect hive. Penetrating scans have detected an access node to uplink with collector data banks. Marking location to your heart suit computer. No, I don't want this one. The meme bean. Well, I guess I was kind of forced in this. I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Maybe the defense tower softened it for the Turians. The missing colonists might be aboard. If they're still alive. Same containers as on Horizon. Only empty. Horrible. Trapped in these pods, completely at the mercy of the collectors. I don't get over it. Maybe I should trade someone out for the Krogan, although he has biotic stuff. Despicable. Why would the collectors just leave a pile of bodies lying around? Test subjects from control group. Discarded after experiment was over. They're dead. Nothing we can do. Keep moving. I like Boris's spacesuit actually. That looks pretty baller. What's this guy? Can't even see what this is. What the hell? Is this like a torso or something? Oh, no, he's got his head there. It's just kind of backwards. I think he's got legs too. I don't know why I'm looking at this. These are questions we ask ourselves. But isn't this entire compartment spaced? Oh, they're kind of, uh, I'm chilling in space. That's a collector. Were they experimenting on one of their own? Edie, I'm uploading the data from this terminal. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. I can't believe the species still exists. These are no longer Prothean Shepherd. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code in this detail. I've already matched 2,000 alleles to recorded fragments. This collector likely descends from a Prothean colony in the Styx Theta Cluster. But there are signs of extreme alteration. Three fewer chromosomes. Reduced heterochromatin structure. Elimination of superfluous junk sequences. I wouldn't want to live as some kind of mutated slave. Killing a collector is probably doing it a favor. Whatever they used to be, the collectors work for the Reapers now. And we still have to stop them. No species should have to suffer through that. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Alright, so we get a couple of options here. We can either go into training of something we don't already have, or we can get the M98 Widow. Guess what I'm doing? Sniper rifles. Alright, uh, so this has a little bit more ammo on it, and probably a lot more punch. Did it just reset all my, my ammunition things again? No, it didn't. So, this is what I call the, uh... The silent but deadly, but not really. <laughs> Why would you want to choose your weapons loader? Oh, I changed my mind. So he just like takes from a pile of guns like the the, the widow. Why, why don't you take a little bit of everything? Look on the ceiling. More of those strange pods. Hundreds at least. Wonder how many are full. Too many. I detect no signs of life in the pods, Shepard. It is probable the victims inside died when the ship lost primary power. Well, at least we got the cool sniper now. Collector technology. Ah, oh, that's a lot of credits. Ah, uh, this collector collectorship is already boring. Anything over here? No. We gotta go this way. 
And Morning, where'd you go? What? The music actually slows down. Slows down or something when when I use my scope. Nice. We can use this. That'd be nice. All right. I also need to do more loyalty missions. Watch my back. Well, there's just... Uh, I don't know what the hell this is. Looks like poop. This is unbelievable. So many pods. Could depopulate all Terminus systems. Still wouldn't fill them. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop them. I to say it, but I don't think the ship is this freaking big. From the cutscene, like how, the, how big the Normandy is compared to this. It doesn't make any sense. Am I wrong? No, just watch the cutscene again. Normandy is like not there, that big. Platform. Looks like some kind of control panel. Backup collector seems odd. Alive or dead. Suggest caution. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. See if you can get anything useful from the data banks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Can't be good. Edie betrayed us. What the hell just happened? Major power surge. Everything went dark, but we're back up now. I managed to divert the majority of the overload to non critical systems. Shepard, it was not a malfunction. This was a trap. You guys want to take cover? Also, by the way, my my shot did not go through at all. Like their guardian. What really I put one of those things here? Fuck! I almost killed that guy too. I seem to be in this weird spot where he can't really hit me. What? He misses me completely. All right, well, let's just uh, do it in the good old-fashioned way. Yeah, look, he doesn't hit me. Oh my god, this guy is so tanky. All right. Does this bullet hit me? No, it, d it doesn't have range. Very surprised about that, actually. Unfortunately, these shields do not appear to want to go up. Fuck. I hate you, Harbinger. I don't know what the hell was this guy. If I must tear you apart, Shepard. Thanks. Take cover. Alright, we may have a problem here. I, I just assumed that my... my Allies will use, uh... This is true power. <laughs> this is true power, just like in front of my cover. Oh, cool. They, they brought this guy down to the most part. I've had someone yelling at me to not, that while I'm not using my the allies abilities. See, I don't tell Morden what to do. Morden's a big boy. Alright. 
control. Oh, good old, old Harbinger is back again. Focus on Shepard. And stay down. Why focus on Shepard? What has Shepard ever done? Alright, yeah. I'm saver of humanity and all that. I trust in the morning. Oh. There, we got him. Now, I, I'm pretty sure my head is just poking out here. I thank God for some reason the scions aren't just kicking my ass. I don't. I don't know what I'd do. Yeah, everyone's down. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to heal them. Get triggered. Fuck, he just opens up his shield here. But how does it miss me? Is that what cover does? Fuck. Yeah, maybe now I'm, I might be screwed. Depends if he gets a hit off. Nah, I don't want that gun. Why, why is cover so good in this game? Just do the same thing. What? I'm just gonna. It, it just lets me heal. My attacks will tear you apart. This hurts you. The forces of the universe bend to me. I, I thought I used my incinerate on him. So he just kind of spams a bunch of abilities here. It's really weird. We are your genetic destiny. But the reason it works out is because, like, the cooldowns kind of just line up. But, like, he doesn't hurt me. I, I'm not sure why. Nothing stands against us. Fuck. Okay, you know what? Let's get, like, one last sniper shot on this. Like, I, I okay, by the way, I, I know that completely... I should be getting harmed by this, but I, I, I don't know why this works as well as it does. Like, it, mostly it's the science that it baffled me, that like for some reason they don't hurt me. Maybe maybe they've always done this, like when you're in cover maybe you're... No, I, I swear it didn't work that way. It, they're very inconsistent, because I swear I played it before and then the science did something. There's something wrong with the science right now. Cause that shit would knock me out of cover. That thing, that stuff has massive AOE. I'm gonna, yeah, it fucking just went over here. I'm gonna just try staying out of cover when he hits me. Let's see what happens. No, cover has nothing to do with it. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm invulnerable to that. Wakey, wakey, guys. See, we don't, we don't need to use anything. What do you guys take this for? Casual? No, we're playing on the hardest difficulty. Oh, right, the console is over there. I, I just want to get some ammo. Who knows what we're going to get next. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just really inconsistent. So, the rules, man. I have regained control of the platform, Shepard. I thought we were going to have to take on every damn collector here. Perhaps you should consider upgrading my hardware. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. I have also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. The collectors were the source. It is unusual. What are you getting at? Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is present, but corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. He knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? That son of a bitch sent us right into collector hands. And here I thought I'd had my betrayal and attempted murder for this year. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. You need to get out of there before their weapons come online. I'm not losing another Normandy. 
I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. What? Why are we over here now? Uh, how much ammo do we have? Oh, we didn't even use the heavy weapon at all, which would have probably helped, but... I mean, the thing is, I'm winning, so how can you really say otherwise? I'm not really, like... Around the corner, take the door on your right. My right or your right? Right, there's no right in space, so... Oh man, that sweet 100 credits from the med pack. I want to reduce my uh, cooldowns a bit further. Where's the assuming direct control man? What? Why are you guys back there? Like your your sniper is in the front, guys. That widow is pretty cool, though. Very nice weapon. Fuck the class. That is not making any noise when I break it. <laughs> Alright. Let's get some collective thermal clips, you know. They're better than the they're, they're better than the normal ones. They're all gooey and shit. That is super nice. So, my strategy is gonna be just to take out literally everybody else except for Harbinger. Apparently going through the shield is not really a possibility. It's so annoying. Fuck it. Alright, Harbinger loves me. I'm really great at making friends, though. My attacks will tear you apart. See? Tear me apart with love. This is true power. Why... Why do you get to shoot through your shield? I don't know if that's a glitch or intentional, because this, with this game you never know. This hurts you. Alright, this seems like not a good place. Let's see how Harbinger's doing. It's over there somewhere. I can't even my allies are smart enough to know. No, he he uses those voice lines way too often. Yeah, he just goes into another one. It's like I thought would happen. Alright, let's go to this weapon. Direct is necessary. What are these? Oh, there's abominations here. Well, uh, maybe we'll deal with these guys. So apparently I've learned that the AI hacking thing didn't work because they have shields. Thus making another another thing really useless. I'm not investing in the AI tech, tech tree hacking. I am unstoppable. Stop, Shepard. I know you feel this. You know you feel what? Remorse, ha, huh? you don't know me. Firing a high impact shot! It's best in the universe and misses high impact shot. We're gonna punch fucking Harbinger in the fucking face. Let's go. Bring the fight to the Reapers. This is how I deal with Reapers in my hood. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Also, I know I almost killed myself, but it was worth it. Are you joking me? What is this? I can't get them. 
<laughs> I can't get the ammo. Thermal thermal clips, they said. Oh, it's better at everything, they said. I, I can't jump over that, by the way. I want my fucking thermal clips. Alright, alright. You know what? I'm gonna glitch myself up there. I've just decided this. There's gotta be a way. God damn it. No, there's no way. It's impo impossible. Alright. Well, well, there's some other shit lying around here, though. I want it for my fucking widow sniper. Fucking five shots is pathetic. What the hell? Alright. Alright, how did I do this? How did I do this? Ow. Wait, can I fire behind me? Wait one second. <laughs> nice! <laughs> it's like, it's weirdly at an angle where I... Oh, what the fuck kind of programming is this? How do I even manage this? Uh, Alright. Okay, so now, like, it was just in the mode that I was in. It was something to do with the swapping of weapons. That caused that to happen all of a sudden. You know what, all this shit keeps happening to me. How do people keep defending this? I don't understand. Like, I have people getting mad at me because I because I cause I keep dumping on the game, but like I try I'm honestly I'm trying not to. It's hard not to. I keep fighting this shit. <laughs> oh my god. But you know what, I can kinda see why, you know, because there's like I think there's like a two subsets of people. There's people who like gameplay and people who like cutscenes. And I think, obviously, the people who'd probably be watching this would be more biased towards probably lo enjoying story and cutscenes more than I would. Um, cause, you know, it's just how it works. Uh, should I just end it up here? Nah. Let's just do one more encounter. I am opening a door on the far side of the room. Alright, okay, that is... Oh, motherfucker. We have a bit of an issue here. So we have one of those things there, but I think I, I think they don't care about anyone but me. Fine, you know what? Fine. Actually, he does use his stuff, but he used concussion shots, so... I mean, I have that collector meme bean. Maybe, should, maybe this is a good time to use that, actually. Oops, I meant to actually cloak myself, but it didn't happen. Think on me. Like, I'm just. I'm, I'm focusing on this guy a lot. So. Fucking hell! That bear is huge. It was a good heavy weapon for the situation, though. I didn't have this much ammo last time. I, I did it because I was doing with some other stuff. So. I was just burn through all this, you know. Fuck, like he just. I think I think it's he's going past some kind of. Firing a high impact shot. I was I was gonna say he's going some past some trigger point, but I don't know. Where did Morden even go? Oh, we got like a ton of ammo for this thing. Oh, I died, fuck. I, I kind of tried to tank him, but no. He did a little bit more damage than I thought he would. My bad. Firing a high impact shot! My 
attack was ineffective. Now oh, we got him. All right. I'm not sure what triggers their shield thing, but I don't think we really see them much more after this. I, I, I don't know, I thought it was like proximity to something, and then they use that shield attack, so you're supposed to stay at range. But I might be wrong. Oh. Petey, we've got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall 3217. Rerouting commands to firewall 7164. Uh, you know, more firewalls don't do anything. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. I will keep it open as long as I can. It's like installing like Microsoft Firewall and fucking Zone Alarm and some other fucking shit. Oh god, god, this place doesn't have Norton, does it? Alright, fine. Alright, bye guys.